Would you believe me if I told you I could get the Hebrew Trinity and four other professional lenses and a pro body into the glass taxi? I don't know if I would believe myself. Jared Polin, fro knows photo. Dot com. I'm here with a review, a full all-out review on the Think Tank Glass Taxi. As you can see, it has nice pick holders, but I'll get to that in a little bit. So leading in, I said that I could get my Hebrew Trinity, a Pro Body, and four other lenses in here. Do you believe me? Let's find out. I was surprised when I was able to do this. So. I'm going to cut a picture in here of what the inside of the bag looks like, but I want to run down exactly what I have in this bag because it's, it's designed to, ca to carry up to a 302.8 on the body. You can get a 400.28 in there, you can get a 500 f4, but I did something a little different. I wanted to see how many lenses, pro lenses, I could fit in here. Here we go. 16 fisheye, 50 1.4 AFD. 8514 AFD 105 macro VR down here we've got the 24 to 70 2.8 down here we have the 14 to 24 Nikon 2.8 and then the last but not least of the Hebrew Trinity the 70 to 200 2.8 and a pro body I was able to get seven pro pieces of glass in this bag. This glass taxi that is really made for, in my mind, what it was made for was to carry around the pro body and the 3028. That's what I got it for. That's what I wanted to use it for. I'm going to splice in a picture of what that looks like right here. So you can see here the pro body on top of the 302.8 in the bag. So anyway, Think Tank makes always great bags. You know that. Um, I was surprised at how many inserts were in here when I originally thought that the bag was just for the 300 or bigger glass, but now I know that it can be used for everything. I may decide to carry this around instead of carrying around the Think Tank Shape Shifter, uh, because if I don't need a laptop in here, then I don't want to carry around the Shape Shifter because it's not as easy to get as much gear in there. To get seven pro lenses in this bag with a pro body is just insanity. It's comfortable on the back. It's not overweight. Uh, it doesn't make you imbalanced, not mentally. Uh, physically, it doesn't make you imbalanced either. So you're not feeling like you're going to fall from one side to the other because you have too much gear in a bag. Like Backpacks are just weird in general. If you've ever tried on a big backpack, they're just weird to carry around and it's just awkward. Now this isn't a bag that you really want to work out of. It's not something that you're going to carry around to shoot and like put down on the ground, switch lenses and things like that. That's what you get into a retrospective 34, uh, not retrospective 34, retrospective 30. You get into that type of bag to shoot out of. But this is if I was flying in a plane and I just wanted to take one bag with seven pro pieces of glass, I would do this. I would use this bag. I can even throw my cards in here. I could probably squeeze a flash in if I really wanted to try. But the bag is put together well. It felt great on the back. It had a nice chest strap, which allows you to take the weight off of your shoulders and helps you, you know, for you people that trek a lot, I don't know much about trekking because I don't really trek, but it, it really makes the bag much lighter when you put it here. Um, other than that, it's a very solid bag and surprised that I could get seven pieces of pro glass in there and a pro body. That's why it's getting one, two, three, four, five. Five fro picks out of five. That's right. Perfect fro pick score because it goes above and beyond what it was meant to do. Maybe it is meant to do this, but for what I expected it to do, it goes above and beyond. Jared Poland, fro knows photo.com. Mm -hmm.